Hey there, welcome back to part two of the Excel Mac Bootcamp. In this series, I'll walk through the basics of Excel, covering everything you need to know to be proficient with Excel. So whether you're just a beginner or just need a refresher, this free course is perfect for you. In this lesson, I'll talk about worksheets, data entry, and basic formatting. I'll go through the basics of a worksheet and how rows and columns are the backbone of any Excel sheet. I'll then show you how to enter and edit data into an Excel worksheet and touch on the different data types in Excel and when to use each one. We'll then wrap up with a deep dive into Excel's formatting menu along with the number formatting options. Alright, let's get started. Alright, so let's start with the very foundation. On the screen here is a worksheet and the worksheet is split up into grids and each of these boxes that I'm clicking on here are known as a cell. So to read it, uh, in terms of a cell address, it's made up of rows and column references. So here we have row five and column B. So if I were to click on say this cell here, you would read it as cell C4, which is also indicated here in the name box. All right, now that we know how to read a cell reference, let's move on to data entry into Excel. So it's as simple as clicking on a cell and just start typing. So if we go with the example here, just go type in hello world. And then you press enter, that moves you to the next row. Or if you type in hello world and you hit tab, that moves it across to the next column. Before we move on, I just want to introduce you to the concept of data types. Don't worry if you don't remember all of this, it's just useful to understand how Excel stores the data that you enter. Okay, so Excel recognizes various data types. So starting with text, text is the data type that stores letters, symbols, and special characters that are not used as part of calculation. So for example, here we've typed in hello world, you can't use that as part of a calculation. Next, we have numbers. This is the data type that, that has a value involved in numerical calculations. So it includes whole numbers. So for example, 23, decimal numbers in our case here, 15.56 and fractions. Next, we have dates. So this is a data type that's used just to store dates and times. So we'll go into this in much more detail in a future lesson. And then lastly, I just wanted to introduce you to Booleans. So this is a simple data type that only has two possible values, true and false. So that's kind of all you need to know for now, but there's actually a couple of other data types as well, but we won't need them just yet. So just going back to entering and editing data into Excel, if we were to come up with another example, say sales, and say we had a sale of $32. So to edit that data, we can either double click on the cell and then you can see a little flashing cursor there. So then you can come in and change that figure to $37. So that's method one of replacing that. The second way of doing it is clicking on the formula bar up above. So then you can come up here and then change this number to say 67. And the final way is using a shortcut when, when you highlight a cell you press F2. That allows you to go back into the cell and allow to start editing it. So if we then type in say 8096. So moving on to copying and pasting data, simply highlight the cell that you want to copy. So this one, you right click, you click copy, you click on another cell. So you can actually, in the cell has been copied when it's got this kind of dashed line that's moving around and you click on another cell and then you right click and then paste. So one thing to note is that when you copy and paste like this, it also brings across the format. So what I mean by that is say, let's edit this to say a red color text. If we were to copy this, so we can use command C and then click on another cell and then command V. That also brings across the red text as well. So there's a way to bring it across using what we call the paste special menu. So if you right click on a cell and then click on paste special, there's various options to allow you how you actually paste that data. So if you want to just bring across the numerical value, you do, would just do paste special and then value. And as you can see, it doesn't bring across that red text as well. 
So moving on to deleting data, all you have to do is click on a cell and then press delete. So that just removes it. Another way you could do it is to click on a cell, right click and then click delete. But what this allows you to do is actually shift the cells up and down as you delete it as well. So let's come up. I'll show you this example here. We'll just clean a number here. So say 523. If we were to the right click delete and then say shift cells up, what happens is that cell below that 523 will also move up as you've deleted that cell. So handy for when you're manipulating data. Before we move on, the last thing I just wanted to touch on was how you can actually move data around. So you can actually click on a cell and if you were to click on it with that little hand symbol, you can actually drag that data across to another cell. And then if you were to click on a cell and use the little square button here, and if you were to kind of bring up that cross, you can also drag and copy that data down as well. So Excel, what it's done here is it's tried to anticipate what the pattern would be. So it's incremented that by one cent on each row. So you can also do the same by dragging a right across as well. So that's just another handy navigation feature of how you can enter and manipulate data into Excel. Now let's jazz things up with a bit of formatting. So I just wanted to talk about the cell formatting menu bars here. So as you can see here, you have the font, the font size. You can also increase and decrease the font with these automated buttons. This is, has your usual bold, italics and underline. You can also have an option of double underline. Depending on how you format your cells, you can also introduce some additional cell formatting borders. So say if you were using an accounting entry, say for total, and we would type in sum, you could format that by using the standard accounting of a single top and a double bottom border. So that introduces that formatting there. Next, we have some cell format fill colors. So if you click on that, you can fill in these using different colors so this is quite handy when you have a spreadsheet of data and you want to highlight or call out specific items that a user should look out for similarly you can also font use the font color to highlight and identify any particular areas of concern in your data or if you wanted to just highlight the user's attention to that and the last thing I wanted to mention was you can actually quickly get rid of any formatting by highlighting all the data. Coming over here, clear, clear formats. And what that will do is just reset all that formatting back to the default Excel formats. So why should we bother formatting in Excel? Well, improving the appearance of your workbook is actually really important for clear and effective communication of any of the data that's in your worksheet. So by formatting your cells correctly, you, it actually helps the data stand out and become more digestible for your audience. You won't be the only person that uses this spreadsheet. So if someone, uh, one of your colleagues was to open this, then they can quickly and easily identify any areas that, that are of concern. So, as you kind of begin to use Excel, free, feel free to experiment with different formatting options such as bolding text, uh, cell shading, using borders, or just find a combination that works best for you and your colleagues. So the last thing I wanted to cover in this video is number formatting. So you can actually display numbers as currencies, dates, percentages, and various other options. So as I mentioned earlier in the data types, not only does this make your data look neater, but it also becomes more meaningful. So for example, in these sales here, do we know if this is pounds, dollars, yen? Uh, so by formatting numbers in a specific way, it's actually much easier to read. So for example here, if we were to highlight these, right click, format cells, this brings up the cell format menu, which then allows you to actually customize the look and feel of your formatting. So let's say these were done in pounds. 
if we can highlight negative numbers by create making them red or red with brackets or if you just wanted a negative number you can also put decimals on top so now we've gotten rid of all the decimals so if you wanted to use an, a standard accounting we can also come in here and find different uh, currency symbols so you've got pound yen baht so the general number is there's no specific formatting this is the default option in Excel so it's actually quite helpful to apply one of these categories to enhance the readability of your worksheet so let's just for example click on currency and we can apply a pound symbol for argument's sake so as you can see here that has now applied a currency symbol and if we were to kind of bold this but you can use command b or just come up here and click that apply some cell formatting and then we also apply some cell formatting up here as you can see it is now much easier to read this than a table of numbers that have a bunch of decimal places another area where you can actually edit the number format is coming over to the menu bar here the ribbon you can click up in this drop down here and again you have the various options so you can choose the date accounting currency number uh, percentage fractions and then if you click on the more number formats that will bring up that menu dialog box, dialog box earlier and again there's a couple of shortcuts here where you can apply the percentage style uh, the number comma style um, and you can increase and decrease the amount of decimals by clicking on this option here as well that's it for today's interface tutorial i hope you found that valuable if you did please hit the like button and subscribe to excel me to keep up to date with the latest tips and tricks for excel so in the next video of this series we'll cover the basics of functions and formulas and i hope you enjoyed this lesson and i'll see you in the next one